Hi, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' is one of several places in the State College area that sells coffee. There are many aspects that allow this Dunkin' Donuts location to be successful. Let's analyze the business model canvas to see how it's done. Dunkin' Donuts coffee caters to students who are on their daily commute to class or are looking for a caffeine fix before a study session. These students are economically conscious and are unwilling to pay a premium price for a cup of coffee. Customers are less concerned with the quality and taste of their coffee than the price, convenience, and caffeine, and most of the students who frequent Duncan's location on college across from the Hammond building are in a hurry to get to their coffee and get back to work. Duncan provides value to these customers by selling cheaper, sweeter coffee than their competitors in a location that is easily accessible to students who live by or have class in West Campus. Their limited options makes buying a coffee simple, and they provide breakfast options for students looking for coffee and a meal. To further increase convenience, they offer customers the option to pay on their phones with a DD card. The coffee is sold primarily through a storefront in which customers place their order at a counter and the coffee is poured immediately following purchase. However, they also sell their blend as a retail item in grocery stores, in bags and K-cups. To reach their customers, Dunkin' uses a variety of marketing methods. Primarily, they rely on print coupons and online ads on websites and social media to reach this market segment. Coupons seem to be their most effective marketing effort, as providing a discount is very valuable to a customer segment that is more conscious of their spending than typical coffee shop patrons. The company maintains a direct relationship with their customer by having employees make the coffee right behind the counter. Also, many of their advertisements are delivered in the mail directly to their customer base and are also present in store. They even offer customers a DD Perks card to reward those who come back to buy their coffee multiple times. They occasionally offer free giveaways, such as after football wins. As many of the customers care about the success of the football program, Duncan uses this to tap into the sense of community that their customers share. Duncan makes money through the direct sale of their coffee in their shop, as well as a smaller amount from their retail sales in other stores. They sell their coffee for $1.67 for a small, $2 for a medium, and $2.23 for a large. These are sold in 10, 14, and 20 ounce sizes, respectively. On average, Dunkin' Donuts sells 1,300 cups of coffee a day. Dunkin' has many partners. They need to source their coffee beans from growers. They then require a partner to transfer the beans to where they are roasted. Suppliers of cups, lids, sleeves, and carriers are also necessary, as well as a source of cream and sugar. Dunkin' is a franchise, so there needs to be a relationship between the corporate entity and the individual shop owners. Every Dunkin' shop requires several employees and a manager, and they also need workers to drive their trucks to transport the corporate goods to different franchises. There are also employees working in finance and marketing who need connections with media outlets to do this advertising. Finally, every corporation needs a legal entity to protect their business. To operate their business, Dunkin' Donuts needs the materials to make their product, such as beans, water, brewing machines, and paper products. They also need advertisements to draw in customers, workers to make the products, and tables and chairs for the customers to sit in. Finally, they also require a storefront from which to sell their product. To attract customers, Dunkin' must constantly advertise their business. Delivering a product requires extensive supply chain management to ensure that all the resources are available, and financial work to take care of the company's accounts. Laborers need to make the product and maintain the storefront while providing customers with a sufficient experience to encourage them to return. Dunkin' Donuts costs are primarily from labor, renting and maintaining their stores, buying their supplies and ingredients, and advertising their products. To reduce their costs, Dunkin' could first eliminate some labor and store management expenses by not staying open for a full 24 hours. The customer segment we identified provides most of their business from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. However, this window will increase at certain times of the year, such as during finals week. 
they could optimize their profits by analyzing when a 24-hour service is most effective. To reduce the cost of the supplies they purchase, they could offer repeat customers reusable mugs to avoid having to use a new paper cup each time a product is sold. Finally, they can reduce the cost of their creamers and sugar packets by removing the self-service, single-use containers from their stores. They can instead provide these options only as something that the employees add behind the counter so that bulk products can be utilized. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of the business model canvas for the State College Dunkin' Donuts and that the presentation was informative as well. 